Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the third and final hour here of One Spot of Game tonight. We're playing The King is Dead, which is like Game of Thrones. It's kind of stuff. Cool. So, I believe uh, to jump right back into it, I think Golden Age, you want to do a uh, dance scene, right? Yeah, the only problem is who do I dance with? There's so many eligible. Uh, so many people to dance. Uh, well, let's start Let's start with, before we get a, above, you know, too far ahead of ourselves. Yes. How about we discuss a little bit of the context of this dance? Sure. We just had mo many weddings. Uh, there's a, been a wedding between Sandor Ale and Oak. There's been weddings between Oak and Lanest. And what's the other one? The uh, Antwerps? Oh, yeah. Oh, Antwerps. In, 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 Antwerp. They're Antwerp. Yeah. <laughs> And to, it, I, I didn't realize I had my name so close to theirs. <laughs> it's giving me a headache. That's all right. <laughs> so, Antarians and who? The Sandorials. Sandorials. So, yep. the Sandorials are busy, busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've been putting in work. Make love and some more. All right. So, is this dance <laughs> happening in, like, the Oaks Estates or, or what? I... Let's say that it's happening on like a pleasure barge out at sea. Party boat. Boat party. 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 Yes. Boat party. Like, uh, it's, it's probably got like the oak flag, you know, on the main mast and everyone else's flags around the sides. Yeah. Definitely boat party. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's a dance on a boat. Mm, there's lanterns everywhere. You see like the stars and the moon. So. And there's totally not any pirates that are going to crash the party. <laughs> but we'll see about that. Um, so, so how I does everybody like, look? Yeah. How do you look? Oh, I'm, I'm still in my chain mail, but it's been like super shined up. Like a glimpse of darkness. Like normally he's like wearing this very simple to bard, but like you can tell it's, it still looks the same, but it's like made out of, the finest silks and it's got gold woven in. And I think uh, Balder is in a similar d style of dress that he was before in the last uh, scene with the prisoner, like the prisoner exchange scene. But this time his beard and hair is very uh, braided in like an ornate braid. Um, you can see lots of um, like the, the the and the fasteners aren't normal twine. It's like not jade, but yeah, maybe jade. It's a jade onyx it's entwining the beard and the hair. Hmm. I'm not convinced I would be there. No, I would have freed you after all the weddings have been. I you wasn't know. under your custody anymore. Yeah. I was being raised in Lunest overseas. Did that happen? Did I? I mean, that was an intrigue that Eric did. Yeah. Oh, that was one of the marriages you wanted was Raven? Okay. So is this, would this actually be in my... Uh, you want to be in in Lunest or? I mean, the boat can be wherever we want, right? So, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe it's just a neutral territory. It's international waters. International waters <laughs> boat party. Absolutely. No rules. Besides nope. all the rules. That's right. We can do whatever we want here. It's a land of anarchy. So yeah, you're there. I guess with your new hubby or whatever. I'm a Lunesti hostage, though. I don't think they would let me go. <laughs> I'm more value to them locked away in their castle across the sea. Mm, it's okay. true. So I'm going to sit this one out, boys. Have fun dancing. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I know what I'm going to do with this dance. <laughs> that is. Yeah, so who are you dancing with? With Helja the Nest, apparently. Okay. Uh, the worst dancer asked the first question. Oh, um, 
I mean, yeah. We've had this fight already, right? See Dracula? Who won? <laughs> the player. Uh, or excuse me, the character, not the player character. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty old, but I feel like he can still dance. Like, maybe he can't dance with Jig, but he can dance to slow dances better than anybody, so... So I think I think there's something about dancing on the water under a moonlight that it just makes it Luness jam. So I think like we're the stronger dancer. Does it have to be of us too? Yeah, it's us it's yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. it's for purposes yeah. of this game, it's the um you're determining so can, who goes yeah. first by who is the better dancer. So I guess I can be the worst dancer then. Yeah. Uh, relatively. So it's all relative. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do with this dance. Uh, I asked the first question. And then once every dancer has asked two questions, it ends. Mm -hmm. uh, um. oh. uh, you each get to ask two questions in total, choosing which dancing partner for each question. Yeah, that's if right. other people get have joined, right? Yeah. So yeah, so okay. All right, sure. Does this dance figures bring you to dance with somebody else? Whom? When the dance brings you back to me again, are you pleased or disappointed? Oh, okay. Um, I think it's, I think the dance separates us, and I have to go dance with uh, Bran. Oh no! <laughs> and um, terrible fate. Bran's a way better dancer than you, so I'm disappointed. <laughs> okay. Um. Something about me catches your eye and look and your look lingers. What is it? I think you're armed since there's no laws here. And to me that's kind of surprising that you would come armed to a a dance a celebration for all our kingdoms. Okay. Uh, well, we know Brand's here now, so Brand, do you want to ask a question? Sure. Um, let me see. Uh, and say who this is, who's your dancing partner. Okay, so would this be for um, Brand dancing or you two dancing, right? Isn't it? No, this is, this, is for, this is for Brand dancing with somebody. You declare who your dancing oh, okay. partner is, then you ask this question. Um, okay, so uh, during the uh, the dance with uh, 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 Helja, um, mm -hmm. uh, your mouth is close to my ear. What do you say? Ooh. Um. Do you fight as well as you dance? Uh, no, that's what I ask you. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I dance as well as I dance. I leave the fighting to others. <laughs> mm. cool. But... Uh, I think it is possible to uh, accomplish more with uh, subtle arts than uh, feats of arms. Perhaps one day I'll show you. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm. Okay. Uh, I think I have something. Uh, so I don't think uh, my character was act- dancing with anybody, um, any of the name characters. I think it was one of the lesser nobles from Oak. And I lost my place in the dance. Did that person let me stumble or did they drop me back into place? Hmm. Surely they would uh, draw you back into place. A, uh, right. House Oak is not the kind of people that likes to witness failure or be a part of it. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm dancing with Helia. I lose my place in the dance. You let me stumble, or do you draw me back into place? I let you stumble. Okay. Mm. Knew I asked um, the wrong person. No, that was directed to me, right? You said oh, it was. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, I was more like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I do. I let, I let you stumble a little bit. Um, but I think that... Uh, and then you drive... Do you have me with your sword? Is that, that... Oh, no. <laughs> no, but I think that um, I play it off like, oh, you had too much to drink. Ha, 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 ha. And, and, you know, and like, it's a, it's a joke at your expense, but it's it's not like bad. Right. Okay. So. It's not like, it, it's not an insult. It's more like I let you, I let you stumble and I, and I make a jest about it rather than, right. um, and then I stand, I didn't, I turned the knife. Just, so, uh, then we make it funny. Yeah. Sure. So that's my yeah. second question. Hey, buddy, I, I will crush you later. <laughs> uh, Brand, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. When the dance ends, will you stand with me or rush away? Uh, it's uh, it's much closer to rush away than than stand with. It, it's like, like there, there's a, a a moment, so it's not it's not rude, but it's a, a definite. Uh, it, it's. Cut short enough that it's a definite signal that uh, I'm, you know, not trying to uh, uh, intrude on your uh, uh, goings on with with uh, uh, House Oak. Okay, but uh, you might interpret it as rude, even though it it, it was uh, uh, meant to be. Uh, um, you know, very carefully uh, uh, playing politic. Got it. Mm. Okay, so those are our two questions. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I can uh, uh... Oh, I do. Okay, so I, I think I know my second question. Oh, okay. So, Helja, something about me catches your eye, and your look lingers. What is it? Uh, the way you carry yourself, the way House um, Antier itself carries itself. I think that um, you guys are kind of been kind of disregarded a little bit, and like I mean, you and I like are. I see, I see an equal. Okay. Someone I should moon, get to know more. I, I, I get you. Moon to moon, understood. Yeah. Full side. Yeah, that's that's my two. So I'm out. Okay. Yeah, I, I've got one more. So. Uh, uh, well, I, I'm not sure if I can structure it this way, but but no, or, try. Uh, tell me if yeah. I'm uh, transgressing. Um, so while uh, uh, 
while I dance with somebody uh, else from uh, House Oak, mm. uh, Antwerp, you laugh at what? Ooh. Mm. So, I want to say like they're they're passing around these sweet rolls, and um, I see I see Balder, he bites into a, a sweet roll, and there's a gem inside of it, and he almost chips his tooth, so he's like holding his mouth in pain. And that's what mm. Sir Antwerp laughs at. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. So that's everybody's questions. Um, that's the end of I the dance. I think that's dance. it. Yeah. Um, the dance ends. Yep. Okay. All right. I... Oh, I, I think I've already went, so I think someone else has to go. So yeah, I think that was my dance, so somebody else. That's true, but uh, I, I did an intrigue in Mustard not that long ago. Yeah, and um, I did uh, intrigue as well, so... Who who hasn't gone this round? I haven't. Yeah. Yeah, I got Maven mm -hmm. out of that thing so we can interact with her. Yeah, character. I was going to say, yeah let's, yeah, let's get Maven on screen. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I have an idea then. Mm -hmm. I would also like to do a chase. And my pursuer is Helia. Because I'm breaking out. She's making <laughs> a break for it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, so you are the hunter and I'm the quarry. Um, obviously, it came about because I think what happened is that um, while you were at this party, um, you had me under guard, but because of the jovial festive atmosphere of the weddings and stuff, people weren't paying as close attention as they should have, and I got my hand on a letter opener, slit some guy's throat, and made a break for it. Ooh, damn. Okay. <laughs> and then you come back to this chaos, and you get on horseback to track me down. Okay. So you are on horseback, but I am not. I am fleeing through, like, through your lands on foot. Yeah. You're Shawshank redemptioning this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... As far as how I look, um, you haven't seen me yet. I don't think you're tracking, like, you're more following my tracks rather than me specifically, mm -hmm. at least at this point. But to the camera, I look very determined, and I am very determined. And I'm also Definitely. still holding the bloody letter opener. Okay. How do you look? What's your mood? Well, I'm fucking pissed and uh, <laughs> that you interrupted my, my evening like this, so I'm probably still wearing kind of like formal evening wear or whatever, but I do have a sword because, as Golden H said, I have a sword. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm tracking you down in some kind of dress. Okay. Um... Um, okay, I race along a high and perilous ledge. Follow me if you dare but throw. On tails, you have to slow to pick your way along, and I gain a coin. Mm, damn you. Yeah. So okay. one is heads, two is tails, I think is what we were going with. Heads. Nope, so, you're good. Yeah. I know this land well. I stare at my horse. My horse, like, is almost like mountain goat qualities. <laughs> Um, I scramble up a steep incline. Follow me if you can keep up, but throw. <laughs> On tails, the way is exhausting, and I gain a coin. Yeah. You're going to catch me. It's fine. <laughs> right. Admission. Yep. 
Well, let's just keep this climbing thing going. I slip on treacherous ground and scramble to keep my footing. Throw. On heads, you slide to overtake me and gain two points. If you, yeah, you keep rolling ones. <laughs> ones for days. Got those roll 20 hacks on tonight, fellas. Uh, I know you do. <laughs> um, nice. Well. Damn, well, you've lost. I have, so I'm just trying to think about what's going to be most interesting. No, oh, I wanted to do scenes with me. <laughs> um, I'm going to do another admission. Because nothing says I can't. <laughs> no, you can do as many admissions as you want. I come to a dangerous climb, and I hesitate, stealing myself. Throw. On heads, you race up behind me and gain two coins. Yeah, you just blasted me. <laughs> Um, uh, I know these lands very well, so it makes sense land. that I outran you, and um, yeah, I probably call out to something like going somewhere. And I, I think know. I'm just standing there with the the, the blood crusted letter opener. I don't say anything, but you've trapped me. Yeah. Do you want to go to a duel? <laughs> a letter opener? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, but it's not my. Maybe. Maybe. It's not my game. <laughs> let's let's see. Yeah, let's see if other people want to go. Hmm. And uh, so I think um, I think Anthony, you still have seen. Uh no no, mine was the intrigue. So okay. Maybe well maybe we all have seen because yeah I, I think it's yeah, I think it's around. I think it's a new round now. Okay. I think it is Brad's turn actually. Yeah, Brad, have okay. you gone? Around? Uh. Well, I did the conversation over dinner, and uh, at the very beginning, uh, intrigue. So yeah, so, so I've done two. So yeah, now we're on round three. Cool. Oh, it is round. Okay, so the intrigue counts as your scene the first turn. I had assumed so. I, I think, think so. I think so. Okay. So yeah, you, you, anybody can do a scene though. Is it Duel of the Fates time? Yeah, I guess we're going to duel. Then, I mean, let's just leave, let's just follow up and duel this, this duel, Stainy. All right. Um, let's let meet me sword to sword. What page is that on? <laughs> uh, 24. Oh, I just found it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on some, some Rocky Hill face. Like, really high up. Like, there's a really high cliff nearby. Somebody could get driven off of that and die. It's dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Um, the players whose house has the lower muster begins combat by asking a leading question. That's me. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, you know what? I'm just going to ride this fail train the whole way down. You get your sword inside my guard and cut me across the ribs. Do you press your attack or give me a moment? Oh, sorry. Or do you answer your phone? Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Sorry, that was my dad. Uh, so I definitely... Um, I definitely give you a moment. And I do this, I do a kind of, um, I do a kind, a sort of princess bride kind of thing, being like, you must be tired. And I, and I, I throw you my water skin and I kind of like t circle you a little bit, like drink up, take, take a minute. <laughs> uh, kind of like, you see, me, you see me chuck it off of the cliff. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. So, I guess it's my turn now. Um. I guess let's just let's just immediately follow that up. Um. We circle guards up, swords between us. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Uh. 
I don't believe I say anything. The time of words is over. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. To you. Let's see. I overreach, and you have the opportunity for a dirty little blow, a kick to the knee, or an elbow, or t an elbow to the ear. Do you take it? No. Uh, but I taunt you as you as you go by. I'm like pitiful. Um, some fighter you are. Um, instead, <laughs> instead so I catch your wrist in my hand and I draw you close to me. Uh, I think I catch your um, your hand with your little letter opener. <laughs> well, yeah, you're fighting with the letter opener. I know you've chased so, me down on horseback. I've been running. Yeah, and yeah. Fighting you with a letter opener, and you're calling me pitiful for being. Yeah, I'm like this is just that. sad, and so um, I like hold your hand with you know so like I'm I'm like holding your hand. You have the uh, letter opener hand like here, right? And I'm holding it. And uh, do you do you let your sword drop? Or do you shove me away and fight on? I shove you away and fight on. <laughs> um, I'm going to go down to a closing question. Um, let's see. You get your sword well between us inside my guard. If you drive it home, you kill me. Do you drive it home or do you allow me to step back and recover myself? Fuck. <laughs> no, I kill you. I fucking oh, do it. Yeah. I fucking kill you. Um, I've so given you plenty of times to be nice and, you know, and submit and treat you humanely. Um, in fact, I don't think we ever treated you inhumanely, even as a prisoner. Um, that's not really Luna's style. And, uh, boy, now I have to kill you. Uh, <laughs> I say, I say, um, you know, as I, as I like stab you or whatever, I'm like such a pity, uh, like such a pity. We don't, could have had a chance. We could have worked together. Um, such a pity. And I'm like, as you're like on the ground dead or whatever, I'm like cleaning off the blade. And I'm like, well, perhaps there's another sucker somewhere as I'm like cleaning the, uh, <laughs> before getting ready to go back home. All right. Rip. Danny's now 50 50 on that question. Yeah. <laughs> Still delete that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Cool. That was intense. Um, hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, I, so I just executed somebody. Yeah. That, that was brutal. But mm -hmm. uh, I guess moving right along, unless there's uh, uh, unless there's any uh, like uh, epitaph or or, or uh, Last bit there, okay. No, you can go ahead and take the next scene. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think that uh, uh, my cousin, who who uh, 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 truly believes that, that he, he is, uh, uh, you know, one step of, away from being the, the next uh, 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 high king, uh, has uh, sent me to... Uh, uh, to House and Terran uh, to try and bring them in, but the the issue comes up that uh, that uh, Sindorial doesn't really have, even though they're militarily strong, doesn't have a legal claim, and uh, uh, probably just uh, while it's uh, courtly uh, brands matter probably doesn't die very well with uh, 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 House and Terran. So it comes to a trial by contest. 
Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's going to be bad, I bet. But <laughs> yeah, those tri trials are real bad. Okay. All right. Well, let's um, do it. So then I take it, it's going... Okay. So it's... It's going to be Brandon Balder. Okay. Let me get to trial. By... It's page 28. Thank you. Sorry, it's not... It's it's actually page 30, but it's 28 of the book. Well, but they're all... I, I'm, I'm there. Yeah. And honestly, there are what? Um, so there's eight different trials. So which one? Well, this is how it works. Because okay. this is a new type of game in this mm -hmm. game. Um, this kind of works like a escalating argument. Oh, okay. So each of you will state your position, and then, um, and the position that the other must accede to, if they lose the trial. Interesting. Um, if there's no dispute already, look under page fifteen for a likely topic, and then ask each other, "How do you look to me? What's your mood?" And then during the trials, so anyone can ask anyone for any details. But the idea is that um, you're going to be taking turns going back and forth asking for trials. Um, uh, when, when you, on your turn, you must choose to either admit that your challenger has proved their position or you must choose a trial and submit yourself to it. And after the first player's turn, you must always escalate. Oh, so the first person starts at what trial they want to go to, and then the next yeah. one's always got to be higher. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, so what's the uh, your position just for the like, mechanically? So. Uh oh, that um, essentially that Interin should support uh, my uh, uh, cousin. Uh, uh, Prince uh, Balamir, I guess. Uh, right, right. Okay. Ascend. And then obviously, it's definitely ascend. And then my position's no. <laughs> like, yeah, my <laughs> position's pretty much no. <laughs> How about we don't do that? I mean, we're we're allies, but I mean, the, the throne's a throne. I mean, my yeah, our my chiefess definitely probably still has a better claim. In my mind. So yeah, okay. Okay. So that's so which uh which trial are you going with to start it off? Uh so I'll I'll start off cheesy with uh bios. Okay. Um let me see. Uh I, I swear that under Brandomir uh all will will uh, see uh, proper divine guidance. No other uh, ha has been uh, given the right by dint of force of arms. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I guess that's all there is to it. Exactly. So, uh, so <laughs> it's and winds are wind. I get okay. So now you must either admit your challengers prove their position. Yeah, it's my no. or choose a trial. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're definitely doing a tri trial here. Um. Oh sure, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. Sounds right. Okay, so I think we're gonna do trial by feet. So. Baller's assertion is that my ancestors are the first kings and queens of this land and by and it was by the will of our strength and the feat is um, it's pretty traditional it's basically you're chopping down a tree um in one swing which because this is not real life totally doable so and basically the way that the feat works is that I will throw two coins and if one of them is heads it is accomplished if not then yeah 
So you have 75% chance. Yep, well, let's, let's just... All right. 2v2. Which one's heads again? Uh, one? Ones? Yeah, yeah ones. Well, Got at it. least one. At least one. You did it. Yes. So Boy. it happens. Oh, you just right. got it. So, uh... Uh, I'll go on to a trial of divination. That sounds reasonable. Um, so I uh, uh, call upon a, a priest of uh, the new gods, not your strange... Uh, old gods, yeah. Old ones, yes. They're the old gods. They're the original gods. I still don't understand why you guys don't get it. <laughs> uh and I call upon them to divine the truth of my position. I uh, throw three coins. Uh, uh, and if I get at least one head, uh, they pronounce my favor because, you know, because obviously. Uh, I do like how this trial is set up, though, because you can throw three coins for your god, or you can throw one for the opponent's. <laughs> but if you win the opponents, then they're fucked. They have yeah, to. Yeah, then they, they have, have to, to because their god said so. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Yeah, that is a cool dynamic. Um, so, uh, let me just go ahead and... That's a good place to start out next time when you're right. You're like, I'm right. God's fucking tell me I'm right. Let's roll yeah. three coins, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you rolled three tails. Chopped on the tree. Obviously, I'm right. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> no. I, my gods have failed me. Oh, well. They're silent when you need them most. Perhaps. Uh. You must accede. So I, I, I think remember this. That, yeah. So I I think that. Uh, Dude, that's rough. That's. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's super rough. Dude. Um, but but I, I I think in uh, uh, in the narrative the way this plays out is, uh, I I you know I really brought a priest just to to you know a, a priest of my gods. Just to, or, you know, or theoretically of my gods, just to uh, to say in my favor. Um, but uh, actually, paid him off to uh, uh, denounce me. Uh, and uh, after the trial, I uh, come up to Balder and say, "I, I." I I, I, I have something uh, I, I must admit to you. Uh, my cousin, he uh, he is in a strong position, but th there is a madness to him. If he does, in fact, ascend to the, the throne, there will be no end of blood. He will crush anyone who said uh, the the mildest word against him till none are left. Understood. I, yeah. I, I hope that uh, somehow disaster can be averted without blood. I wish you well. You too. And I think I have an idea for the next scene. So I think it's going to be intrigue. And I think your uh, your your lead lord is definitely going off the deep end, like you said he did. And the, he ordered an assassination of the high priest of House. Dillstone while he is at worship which is obviously a terrible outrage to everybody but uh, what happens is Dillstone and 
in your house each lose a muster, which I know is very, very hard for House Stillstone. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rough. Yeah. So. I don't know how we'll recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Cool. All right. So who's uh, next? Yeah, who's up next? Yeah, I think it's time to do um, an argument with Hal Sandorio. I'm going to try and steal the power. All right. I'm trying to think yes. of what a good argument would be. Like, we could just have an argument over which of our houses should be. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Um, but there might be then... more interesting arguments to have. Well, okay. If we do that, uh, I was going to definitely recommend that we should put some muster down for this. Oh, yeah. I mean, the winner win wins one, the loser loses one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, we could just argue over... I'm having real hard trouble thinking about something else specific we could argue about. Like, uh, um, so there's hmm. on page 15. There's a bunch of topics for like for conversations over food. Yeah, um, something I can see one of those for. Uh, something along one of those is pretty good. I like mm -hmm. whether winter is coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously. Winter isn't coming. Winter is here. Yeah, I can feel it. Like <laughs> it's down to like thirty-five out there right now. Boy, I'm glad the Bay Area doesn't have seasons as such. I mean, we had. Yeah, this is this is a weird winter. I mean, it was seventy. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was seventy today, and now it's going to be. It's going to be twenty. And then it's going to snow. Hour. Yeah. Everyone's gonna get sick again. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Let's just do. I mean, there's recent acts of leader. treachery, right? Yeah. Oh, we we could yeah. talk about the death of Stunny's character. Sure. Yeah. So, like, we, we can argue over whether or not that it was right for her to be put to death. What what would your position on that be? Uh, I I have, I have a thought to contribute if you guys are open to it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, House Dillastone comes calling, looking for someone to blame. You're both allied with Linus. Yeah, we're both blaming each other. And so they're looking for a scapegoat or like. They're like saying we're demanding retribution. We want we want the life of one of your sons or daughters. Oh, why don't just be one of our knights? Come on. Or what? Which one of us should be put to death, Bran? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> and there's still the ruling house. So even though we have no muster, yeah, you're still kind of at least on in face value trying to submit to that and yeah. to make moves. I like these stakes. How do you feel about these stakes, Bran? Uh well as a player I think it's it, it's very amusing. Uh <laughs> I'm sure that Bran would be uh uh is not so keen to, to uh uh die over this this disagreement, but I, I think that, that needs must. All right, let's do I, it. I also like how my house isn't a part of this because Hey, I, I might have attacked, but I do I do it openly. I do it right up front. No one has no intrigue here. Yeah. You give Sandoria. it to us straight. I think the thing is though is that it was after the exchange of prisoners when all of this happened. Oh yeah. And the the Dilla Dil, the Dillastones, they blame both the Sandorials and the Oaks for the death of Maven. I almost forgot her name because I deleted all of her. Yeah. <laughs> In Lunest custody. Yep. <laughs> uh. All right. So let me just find the uh, questions because I have a very difficult time with this argument because I think it's my fault. But uh, oh, Well, of the 
Unless they changed it for this game. No, I think the audience still gets yeah. to ask. Good. I don't. Okay. Does the uh, okay the audience? Okay, great. Yeah. No, we all get to uh, the three of us get to go do this. Um, Let's do it. We have the we can be as partial or impartial as we want. Um, <laughs> great. So what's so what's actually at stake? Because I know that you could have one. The loser loses one. The winner went right. one, and then both or neither. What's, and yeah, we wanted something. What's each position right now? I mean, there's the position that each of us thinks that the other's house is responsible for her death. Okay. Um, oh, so maybe the maybe it's whoever loses loses a point then because you're losing somebody so. Right. Oh yeah, but whoever wins gets a point, right? So it's just both. You get well, both. Well, you can do you can do both. Yeah, I'm, I think both sounds more fun. Mechanically, it's both. not going to matter. Yeah, it's you're going to just swap points places no matter what you choose. Well, there. this is pretty important, actually. <laughs> yeah. No, this is really important. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no, actual. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. okay All right. So both. Okay. Uh, so, do we have to take the position that the other should be put to death, though, or is that the uh, uh, is that the uh, the Dillastone position, and and we have our own? I think that'd just be fun. Okay. Well, why don't you state your position first, and then then uh, unless I'm supposed to do mine first. No, well, I think my position is just that. Um, yeah, House and Oriole's. Um, Well, guess... House Sandorial's failure to respect the um... oh, it was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna it. it's a Sandorial plot to kill Maven by sending her to the Little Nest homelands. They were conspiring with Bader Sonavaki. Damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And my position is that uh, uh, Antwerp is uh, uh, grievously in, uh, uh, misinformed, probably by uh, 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 Lunest spies. Obviously, they are, are responsible for the death of uh, the prisoner in their custody. Yet, it was uh, uh, House Oak who turned her over to Lunest. So if someone must uh, take the responsibility, then uh, clearly uh, Oak should uh, uh, admit their fault and we shall uh, 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 proceed peaceably. All right. Uh, can I take the next? Uh, wait, we have to vote on that one. Uh, well, not no, of the audience. Just, Sorry, no, that's just that's the positions. positions. Yeah. Oh, you gotta so. ask. You gotta pose challenges now. Uh, I'll go first. Express your positions in the form of a slogan. It's <laughs> <laughs> always the best one. <laughs> you can do it. No, I think you 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 say which one goes first. Oh, yes. um, yeah. Let's go with um. Let's go with Brand. You know, Brand. Brand has to go first. Mm. Let bygones by be bygones. Mm. For under uh, an eye for an eye. The whole world becomes blind. Sandor Sand Dorio can't be trusted to tell you what is real. They just don't even know that themselves. Uh, no, point, point brand. <laughs> so you got one. Woohoo! Cool. Now someone now someone else goes. Either a Stainy or uh 
Hmm? Okay, I, I have one. Okay. So, st starting with Sir Antwerp, please explain how your position carries the weight tra of tradition, law, and social order. I think that history will tell that Sandariel has made a number of schemes and plots in order to take the throne for themselves. And that once we get to the bottom of this, we will see that it was their directives to House Sunesta to have Maven murdered on her escape. Uh, if we were the, uh, uh, scheming and, uh, dishonorable rogue that you claim, we, we would have, uh, simply ignored tradition and, uh, taken the throne. We, uh, we have the might to do so, but we have not. We have sought uh, ever for peace now and always. I think it took it's this one. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Um, Golden Age, I'm going to return the favor to what you did to me when we played Firebrands. Oh, boy. <laughs> So starting with Antwerp, please make a personal attack on your opponent's character. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Mm. While I've been working with House Sandorio, saying if they will be ready to take over the leadership I've discovered that their lax security measures were not a failing of ability, but intentional in order to allow many maidens entry into their castle without anybody noticing them. I found maidens of House Lunest In Bran of Baron Riel's private chambers when I came to visit him recently to discuss measures of tightening his security forces. And obviously, on my arrival there, he was in no way interested in fixing even the smallest of these flaws. Well, up till now, I had uh, given my colleague the benefit of the doubt, uh, hoping that uh, these uh, outrageous accusations were uh, merely the fault of uh, 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 poor ministers, the uh, people uh, uh, telling him lies behind his back. But clearly, he uh, is being willfully obtuse in this matter. Clearly, uh, when one sees uh, uh, villainy uh, in all around one, uh, all around oneself, it is uh, one's. It is because of the corruption in one's own heart. The, these intrigues that he speaks of are of his own devising. He, he spoke them uh, throughout this uh, conversation. And again, I, I tried to uh, just let it pass by and uh, uh, rise above. And I hope that uh, in the future, he will see the error of his ways, and we can once again re return to courteous discourse. 
Hmm. Hmm. Be that as it may, Oak gets the point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be a lying bastard. Take off me. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. Guys, I think we have to wrap it up here, though. I think this uh, was, the, and anyhow, that was all of us having three turns. Yeah. Except for me, but I'm dead. <laughs> Technically, no, you, you could still do turns. entry oh, turns, right. but. Right um, <laughs> but um, so, yeah, let's. Are we going to do the, uh, the final. Or the are we going to rip Coronation one? The yeah. Coronation? Um, yeah. Yeah, we can do Coronation. All right. Mm. Just quickly, the end here. Um. Yeah, I only got to wrap up soon. It is uh, Suzanne's birthday today. Oh, and... happy birthday, Suzanne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Birthday. so I will be uh, meeting her up. Um, well, party. just tell her it's Golden Age's fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we have to look at the, um, the, the chart, and the person with the highest uh, muster ends up winning uh, the yeah. crown. And it's Oak. Um... So, um, ask that player of that house to briefly describe the ceremony and the new sovereign. If anyone, you know, as well as any other kind of like anyone else can ask any like further details or anything like that. So, what was the ceremony like for for Oak's coronation? Well, the ceremony is like very traditional, and um, we see two people of House Oak, a uh, prince and a princess marrying each other and they're from you know separate bloodlines in house oak uh one of them has ties to house dostum and the other one has ties to uh the other house is close to my name that i can't remember and here yeah the other one has ties to house palantir <laughs> so <laughs> So we see through House Oak, the house of tradition, these two houses merging together to rule the country forever in peace. And, mm. you know, the crowds are cheering, you know, the military forces of House Orc are now the greatest in the land. And, um, you know, people from all the different countries are invited to witness this. Who personally attends the ceremony? Dead. <laughs> not me Brand's also dead not so me. it's just Bader and Antwerp uh, you, oh, you're marrying Brand. somebody from Brand. my house yeah I have to show up <laughs> good nah well maybe oh, what the, what no I guess it? I guess I had to show up cordially because we're somewhat related so like you did marry into us so I guess we have to go but I don't I don't personally attend but my house goes okay uh, what is the Oak Sovereign themselves like? They're probably like very young, like um, late teens. Uh, they're they're actually really in love, and you can see like um, they're just very like good traditional people, and you know that Sir Antwerp has personally tutored them and the ways of being a good leadership and and being a steward so that they would be able to run the country when he died um, but now they actually literally get to run the country as its heads not just as its hands cool that is cool nice and all it took was for me to lie <laughs> 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 One so, little lie. Uh, yeah, which of us uh, personally support the new crown? Again, dead. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah, despite lying to get there, uh, Brand does in fact support the new crown. Nope. God damn it, this power struggle. <laughs> it's real. Um, yeah, no, I would be against it. So, what happens to everybody is against it except for me? You're too moderate. Mm, I was slighted. Yeah. No. Which of us will personally uh, fight or continue to fight against the new crown? Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From beyond the grave. <laughs> nice. Cool. 
And then the last question is, uh, a year from now, where are we? Rotting on a yeah. cliff top <laughs> somewhere? <laughs> um, uh, Balder would be secretly training uh, forces um, to avenge his slight that he received on the boat when somebody made, made light of him with the uh, bait treat with the, the gem inside. <laughs> yeah. That, that was a that slight. Was literally our only interaction. I know. <laughs> hey, man. It's a, it's a slight. And I, 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 I was I laughing because violence. you won. Like, I was laughing because I was happy that you got the gem. I, I don't understand your ways. My- <laughs> <laughs> this means war. <laughs> yes. I think... I think... Um, I think with the help of Antir, like, slowly, I think that Luness is going to build up her forces and have them kind of, like, massive invasion. Yeah. I feel like there's totally a war going on between yeah. the West and Oak. Yeah, a shadow um, war. A shadow war? Because we're, te- war. No, we're technically related. Like, I guess. That's true. If anything, it's emboldened our claim a little bit, being like, oh, like, these guys have, you know, they have a, cl- I don't know. <laughs> I, I like trying to position our way so that Luness becomes the, uh, the See, next. See, if you haven't hadn't killed a Stunny or Maven, then I was going to steal time with her and say that I'm stealing time with her while I lead her out on the escape with the paramilitary team. Ha, correct. You <laughs> killed her! <laughs> so I had no choice but to go to the crowd. That right? was so good, though. Yeah. That was good. Mm-hmm. So I gotta get out of here, guys. So it's gonna be a quick little uh, get out. Um, so okay. thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, we'll talk about it in uh, our Discord. How about that? Because um, sure. I gotta get going. And it, like I said earlier, it's my girlfriend's birthday, so I gotta go. I gotta go see her. Happy birthday! All right, but I, birthday, I, 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 I promise you guys a game, and I will, I will, I always deliver. So <laughs> sometimes, I sometimes always deliver. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. Yeah, take care. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. See ya. Uh-huh.